Joyce DeWitt, a talented American actress, has graced the screens of millions with her charm, wit, and engaging performances. Born on April 23, 1949, in Wheeling, West Virginia, Joyce's journey into the world of acting began as a young and passionate dream. With a determination to make her mark in the entertainment industry, she pursued her love for the performing arts, eventually achieving fame and recognition for her iconic role as Janet Wood in the beloved television sitcom Three's Company. While originally hailing from Wheeling, West Virginia, Joyce's formative years unfolded in the serene surroundings of Indianapolis's Speedway suburb. As she blossomed into a young adult, she found herself at Speedway Senior High School, actively participating in the Indiana High School Forensic Association, a perfect platform for her budding talents. Following her high school days, Joyce embarked on an exciting journey, immersing herself in the world of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway ticket office. However, driven by her passion for the arts, she set her sights on higher education. The doors of Ball State University in Muncie, Indiana, welcomed her, and she eagerly embraced the pursuit of knowledge. After graduating with flying colors, she proudly earned her Bachelor of Arts degree, specializing in the captivating domain of theater. Following her academic achievements at the University of California, Los Angeles, where she earned her Master of Fine Arts degree in acting in 1974, Joyce DeWitt's journey took an unexpected turn. Initially, she ventured into the world of legal secretarial work, but her heart remained steadfast in pursuing an acting career. An early introduction to the world of acting occurred at the tender age of 13, when Joyce made her debut on stage, igniting her passion for the craft. Soon after, in 1975, she took on her first steps into the on-camera realm, landing an uncredited role as Mother Earth in ABC TV's detective series, Beretta. This was soon followed by another appearance in the TV series Most Wanted, solidifying her presence as a budding actress and contributing to the growth of her network. A pivotal moment in Joyce's career arrived in 1976 when she auditioned for two ABC comedy pilot projects. With only 24 hours to decide, she chose the role of Janet Wood in the upcoming sitcom Three's Company, making the right call as the other project never materialized. The show chronicled the humorous misadventures of one man and two women cohabiting under the same roof. Running for eight seasons from 1976 to 1984, encompassing 172 episodes, Joyce appeared in a remarkable 171 of them. This role served as a springboard for her acting career, skyrocketing her popularity. After the conclusion of Three's Company in 1984, Joyce embarked on a new chapter in her life. She embarked on a global journey, eventually settling in New Mexico for a couple of years, where she took a temporary hiatus from acting. After a considerable period of retirement, Joyce DeWitt made a brief and triumphant return to acting in 1991. She graced the stage in Cherry County Playhouse's production of the delightful Noises Off in West Michigan, showcasing her enduring talent and passion for the craft. Her hiatus from on-camera work spanned over a decade, but in 1995, Joyce marked her comeback by landing the role of Linda Hayden in the heartwarming TV movie Spring Fling. This was followed by a memorable appearance in the TV series Cybill, reigniting her presence on the small screen. In the new millennium, Joyce continued to showcase her acting prowess. In 2000, she made a guest appearance on the TV series Hope Island, captivating audiences once again. Three years later, in 2003, she took center stage, starring in the leading female role in the Nick at Night Holiday Special, a delightful musical comedy TV movie that left viewers in high spirits. As the late 2000s approached, Joyce shifted her focus toward movie roles. She graced the screen in the heartwarming family adventure movie Call of the Wild in 2009. The following years witnessed her impressive performances in Fell in Better Now 2010 and The Great Fight 2011. In 2014, Joyce showcased her comedic talents in the TV movie My Boyfriend's Dogs, tickling funny bones and capturing hearts. The next year, 
she embraced a different genre, starring in the drama movie Rock Story, demonstrating her versatility as an actress. In July 2009, Joyce faced a challenging legal situation when she was charged with driving under the influence. Driving past a barricade near a park in El Segundo, California, led to her being pulled over by a local officer. After observing signs of alcohol consumption and conducting a field sobriety test, she was subsequently arrested. Following her booking and citation at the local police station, Joyce DeWitt was released on her recognizance. In May 2010, she received a three-year probation sentence, was mandated to complete a nine-month alcohol rehabilitation program, and was ordered to pay a fine exceeding $500. Aside from her acting career, Joyce is known for her dedication to activism and philanthropy. She has had the honor of collaborating with remarkable individuals such as Valerie Harper and Dennis Weaver, who share her boundless commitment to addressing hunger, homelessness, and environmental issues. Joyce actively participated in the Capitol Hill Forum on Hunger and Homelessness alongside members of the House and Senate, and she has hosted presentations for the Family Assistance Program of Hollywood. In her personal life, it has been publicly acknowledged that Joyce was involved in a long-term romantic relationship with fellow actor Ray Buktenica between 1979 and 1986. However, whether they were officially married remains undisclosed. Information regarding Joyce DeWitt's other romantic connections or love affairs is not available, and she remains officially single and without children. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. And goodbye.